Many designers are asking for the secret tool they can use to export Figma design to After Effects in one click, but they usually have a lot of issues because it's not a native way to do this. What about proven tools? Hi, Andre Bond here, and now I will show you the way everyone can use to export Figma design to After Effects. But before the export, we have to prepare our layouts. Let's see the example. For every layout you want to animate, you have to export it separately. If you want to save time and not move each layout in After Effects to its place, you have to export layouts in the same size. Just use a general artboard frame for this and keep your elements in their places. Do not forget to off the background when exporting and check the names. If you have the list of the same elements you will animate separately, you can apply the same name with different numbers using the native Figma naming tool. Next step, move the files to the After Effects. But first, you have to know that the file you import from your folder to After Effects is now linked to the layout. And if you update that file, it will be updated in After Effects immediately and automatically. It's beneficial when you have to update something. You just need to replace the file in your folder. But be sure that replaced file has to keep the same size. This is why the file system is essential. I recommend you to save the files you are using in the After Effects in one place. For example, I'm using the following structure. Project folder, After Effects folder, where I save all project files with different versions or histories. And Files folder, where I keep all media files I use in the project, including pictures and videos and export folder where you can find all your export versions and you will never lose it. Now you can copy, move and archive your project folder and be sure this project will be opened correctly because all linked files will be included. Next up, how to create the composition in After Effects. Using the right button, click on the artboard you want as an example and create a new composition from selection. Now you have a new composition with the sizes of the picture. To control the composition, just tap the Composition menu and Composition settings. Here you can control the frame rate and duration. If you want to create smooth animation, use 60 frames per second. But if it's too hard to render this frame rate, you can pick 24 frames per second. Next, move other files to the composition and arrange them according to the design. Now you have all Figma layouts in After Effects. You can open the parameters of each of the layouts and control them. For example, you can set keyframes for the position at different times, edit the value and you will see the animation. If you want to control the movement, you can separate dimensions and change the curl and add more material to your animation. But if you want to make a more complicated video, for example animate the landing page, you can do next. Separate the landing page into sections. Export them all to After Effects. Create compositions for every section. Create one large composition using original landing page sizes. Insert the section compositions. Insert this one large composition into the frame with browser sizes. And animate the Y value to simulate the scroll. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more how animate the user interface design in After Effects or you want some specific tips how to rush your workflow, please write a comment below. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.